Uh, so being here for the second time in San Ramundo, it's been awesome too, um, to share experiences. My favorite one, well, right now, right now is uh, I've worked with Lorenzo very closely here on the roof, and it's been awesome and having a great time. And even though we're uh, obviously not able to speak the same language, just through different gestures and just a simple language, um, we love to talk and, and work together. Uh, an experience that I've enjoyed has been working on the job site and coming into uh, situations where I've been in before that I've enjoyed. I enjoy working on the job site with other people. First trip down was a lot more work, which I enjoyed, and last time I went it was a lot more relational, which was harder for me, just because I enjoy the work part more. But this time it was kind of a mix of in between. We did work hard, but then I also put in a lot more effort in with talking with the Guatemalans and playing with the kids. I'm really thankful to be here, to be part of this mission trip. Uh, it's amazing to be part of construction team. I, I love construction, love being out, we're out, outdoor, and um, I just enjoy the kids ministry they've been doing, the youth ministries, uh, playing soccer. My favorite part has <coughs> been uh, playing with the kids and doing ministry stuff and playing soccer. That was fun. My favorite experience would have to be the kids ministry because the kids they're just really nice and they're always happy. We would go in and just, we'd play really simple games like even dodgeball or just throwing little balls over a string and it was, it wasn't anything super like huge, but it was just everyone had a great time doing it and playing soccer with just anyone who decided to show up. It's just crazy to see how much people can bond through just hanging out together. I've really seen him helping to foster relationships between people, whether it's on our team. Um, I know personally like I've had friendships grow or even just start because of coming here together and with the people here in San Ramundo as well. Just um, doing the kids ministries or the youth outreach, just even though we're not able to talk to them, just being able to say hi to them and to play games and even though there's that language barrier, just to be able to communicate through just doing things together and build a relationship in that way. I've really just seen him making people bold and excited to just like kind of step out of their comfort zones and be willing to speak with people and be willing to embarrass themselves and just have courage. Seeing, seeing God pushing our team members in, in new ways. It's been really neat to, to watch them um, take risks and make the most of opportunities with the people that are here. I think I've seen God just working in the team, most of all. They've all um, built so much courage and boldness and, and they reach out in crazy ways that are so exciting. And, um, and through that, they've just been building relationships like crazy. When we went to see all the houses, we went to Margarita's house, who I was able to help build her house on our first trip. And it was just really neat to go and see her house. Um, we, she showed us how to do, how they make the firecrackers, and it's so much work for so little money that they make, and it just really impacted me that, um, that we were really able to help that family because they have so little. One of my favorite things um, is every morning I go and help the Guatemalan ladies in the kitchen and even though I'm completely useless there, they, they let me like crack eggs and flip pancakes and stuff. And... Uh, every morning me and a few other girls go into the kitchen and help the ladies cook breakfast and then we take the breakfast out, breakfast, breakfast out and serve it. So I really enjoy getting to know the ladies better and just participating with them and that's something that I didn't get to do last year so it's been really nice to get to know them better and practice speaking Spanish with them and just help them out in there. Um, something that's been really cool for me was going to the services on the Sunday afternoons, the church services and just the way that the congregation gets involved. It's a lot different than what we used to back home. Like. In church, we were just like singing and worshiping God, and 
they were all songs that everybody knew, so it was like just really awesome hearing like the passion of the Guatemalans mixing with like the English, and it was just like you know this awesome moment of like anyone can praise God in any language. It doesn't have to be English. It doesn't have to be Spanish. It can be any language and any group of people, and it can be awesome. Um, being able to sing with the local church here. It's always uh, really powerful for me when it's a song that we know and we're able to, to sing together uh, with the people here as they sing in Spanish and we sing in English. Uh, the great reminder that although we speak different language and sing in different voices, um, we all worship the same God. I am thankful that I was able to come to Guatemala again. This is my third trip and it's just amazing to come here every time. Um, the relationships that we have with the Guatemalans here and, and the more that we build every time is just amazing. So um, yeah, it's just a blessing to me to be able to come here.